Royal Navy aircraft carrier HMS Prince of Wales docked in Liverpool on Friday. The second of the UK's giant new aircraft carriers is in the city for a week-long visit, packed with celebrations and engagement with the local community supported by Liverpool City Council. Thousands descended on the pier head over the weekend for a chance to hop on board. It's absolutely superb. I'm very, very impressed and it's overwhelming. It really is, yeah. Yes, it's lovely. Yeah. It's Seeing better with the cruise liners. Yeah. Because like the, people, the people spend money when they get off, don't they, on the cruise liners. And the Americans are made up with Liverpool because of the Beatles and everything, you know. Oh, everybody's made up with yeah. Liverpool. <laughs> Best city in the world. It's a big tourist attraction. And like I said, you can see there's plenty of people here and they all seem to go away happy after seeing it. <laughs> Pleased to see it. Uh, it's just really what I always want to see. I always wanted to see something of the Royal Navy that, you know, sort of world class um, defence system. It's just brilliant. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. It's immense, yes, yes. You don't realise how big it is until you see it. Mm. Well, what did you guys think of the aircraft carrier? I thought it was brilliant. Yeah, it's amazing. It, it's about time we had big ships back in Liverpool. We've never seen an aircraft carrier before. Never. We were hoping to go on it, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not for the general public today. It's just something very unusual. It's different, and it's not something you can see anywhere. So, And it was close enough to come and see it, and now we've been here, we'd like everybody else to come and see it as well. It revitalises cities, and um, we were saying how much work Liverpool have done to revitalise the city, and this uh, this is just part of all that as well. And have you always had an interest in like the Navy, the Marines as well? Well, my stepfather was in the Navy, so if he was still alive, he'd be here today, so yeah. This is one impressive vessel. The ship's flight deck is 70 metres wide and 280 metres long, enough space for three football pitches, and a big boat needs a large crew. She has a ship's company of 700 sailors, which will increase to around 1,600 with aircraft on board. The amazement of, you know, the technology of it, the engineering, that it inspires some of our young people in the city, but also, you know, the history of this city we're here on a UNESCO waterfront here and just people recognising you know sort of the great history this city has had with ships of all different sizes shapes and you know to be able to come along as well to the village on the waterfront you know and speak to some of those armed forces you know and speak about you know sort of the sort of work that they do you know sort of in peacetime as well as times of conflict. Although the carrier is not open to the public, you can get a view of her at the pierhead until her departure on Friday.